from the test execution. Now I will discuss how to export the collections into the JSON file and also I will discuss how to export the environment variables into the JSON file so that we can execute our API request and respective test verifications from the command prompt. Let's discuss first how to export the collections into the JSON file. You can select this collection and you can click on three dots and you can come down and here you will see the option as export and you click on that option. After that you can click on export. So here we have to save the collection in the format of JSON. So here I am specifying the file name as booking underscore API dot JSON. So that's it you can click on save. So this is how you can export the collections into the JSON file. Now let's discuss how to export the environment variables into the JSON file. You can go to the environment variables and after that you can click, click on edit button. Then you can click on this three dots. Then you will see the option as export. So this file also you need to save in the format of JSON. So here I am specifying the file name as environment.json. So that's it. So here we have saved the collections and also we have saved the environment variables in the format of JSON file. So in the next tutorial, I will discuss in the chapter 4, 4 of API testing tutorial, I will discuss how to execute collections from the command prompt. So that's all I have in this chapter 3 of API testing tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will discuss how to install Newman and how to execute the collection from the command prompt. And also we will see how to generate the HTML report after executing the test script from the command prompt. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.